Say kids, what time is it? It's time for Magic Monday with your old pal Bob. We're gonna do a little magic trick today with a dollar bill and uh, some salt and uh, some coffee. Mm, that's good. Actually, the coffee has nothing to do with it, but I just wanted to have a sip of coffee. So we have a dollar bill and a salt shaker. So we take the top off the salt shaker and we're going to take this uh, dollar bill and we're going to roll it into a, a little cone just like this and uh, we'll seal up the end just like that very good and uh, then we're going to take some salt and put it inside the inside the dollar bill just like that that's quite a lot of salt and I think that's quite enough because I don't want to make a big mess but if we just hold it just like that and unroll it, the salt completely disappears. That's a magic trick for today here on Magic Monday. Well, today we're going to do a special Magic Monday with uh, somebody that I've seen grow up through the years from a young man to uh, an adult who has created so much magic for magicians. It's unbelievable. This is his book, Magic, The Complete Course. It's Joshua J. He has a magic company called Vanishing Inc. In fact, uh, that trick I just did with the salt and the dollar bill came directly out of this book. Uh, it's an amazing book. It's a, a great beginner book or even for professional magicians. You can learn a lot from this book. Well today, Joshua J is a professional entertainer. He works all over the world doing his act. He has been on Penn and Teller's Fool Us, and yes, he did fool them. He has been on uh, many top TV shows like The Today Show and The Tonight Show and also The Late Show. He's performed all over the world, and he's even been on Masters of Illusion. So today, we're going to do a tribute to Joshua J and have him perform a couple of tricks from uh, Masters of Illusion. We hope that you'll enjoy it. Let me bring back that salt. <laughs> there we go. And that is uh, our tribute today to Joshua J. Thanks for watching Magic Monday. Hope to see you again real soon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is Joshua J. A blue deck of cards and a red deck of cards and something that's almost impossible. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Matthew, you're gonna take this blue deck of cards and shuffle them up. When you're done shuffling, give them some cuts, and I will do the same with this red deck of cards. Now, while you're shuffling, I want you to take note of the fact the amount of shuffles possible in a deck of cards is an eight with 67 zeros after it. It's almost hard to comprehend, and we're gonna test that out now. So take the cards in your hand and spread through until you get a feeling on a card. I don't want you to look at the card, I just want you to take it and place it face down. And you don't know what that card is, of course. And you don't know what that card is. No. Good. We're going to look at these cards, but not yet. Instead, I want you to take uh, that card and place it inside your breast pocket there, and I'll do the same. Yeah, and keep shuffling, please. Now, you've watched me shuffle. You've watched him shuffle. Now I want all of you to watch me cut. The cards get one final cut. All of you watched me do it, and I'm not going to change the order again at all. Now it's your turn. Place the cards on the table and give them one final cut. And complete. Perfect. Now we'll check mine first. For the people in the crowd out there, would you please verify those cards are not separated by color or suit? They really are shuffling. And would you square them up and put them face down right there? And then we'll check yours. Let's see how you did. Uh, yeah, good work. Thanks. 
Now the odds of us shuffling these cards and then cutting to the exact same card, you know what the odds of that are? Oh, I'm big. Just one in 52 actually, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> Check this out. I don't want to touch those cards, turn it over. No, oh, no, no. It's <laughs> no. Well, if you think that's weird, if you think that's improbable, pick up the cards, I don't even want to touch them. Deal that five of diamonds right here, yeah. Perfect. And whatever the next card is, take that card and deal it down. Oh. <laughs> and no. Deal with me as fast okay. as you can. Look, a four of hearts, every single oh. card in this deck matches perfectly. Look at this, every single card. The queen, the seven, the three, the eight, the ace, the five, the two, the nine, the six, the three, all the way down here to the nine, the two, the three, the six, every card in this deck. But, but you were drawn to a card before we did anything, while you were shuffling. I was drawn to a card. Take that card out now. My friends, this isn't just improbable, this is impossible. <laughs> I brought eight cards with me. Now the first four are just the four tens. Take them, hold them in your hands, make sure that they are what they appear to be, four tens from a deck of cards. And now I brought four very special cards along with me as well. These are four blank cards. Take a look, feel them, make sure that they just are blank on one side, almost like pieces of paper. And on the back, they have the normal back design. Now we're gonna use these eight cards, which you guys have looked at and examined for a little bit of printing using magic. The four tens go on the table, the blank cards go one for each ten. So we get a blank for the heart, a blank for the club, a blank for the spade, and a blank for the diamond. This is how it works. A blank and a ten, and I can print a card. Now feel that, that's a real card. There's no ink that's wet, that is really just printed. Look again. A blank and a 10. This is a misprinted card. 10 on one side, but blank on the other. Feel that, that's a real card. And we'll do this again. Look, a blank and a 10. I won't just print the card on this side. I'll even print the card on this side, both sides. These are the cards you looked at. Now we won't just print half here, but we'll also print half here. And then you get half and half printed on the card. It's dry and printed on the card. Look, I don't even need the cards. I can do this against my wallet, perfectly printed against the credit card on my wallet. Look, and we can take this even further. We can print against anything. We can go against the shirt. That's against the shirt. We can go against uh, my ear. That's against my ear. That's really my ear. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is printing. You can take a look at all those cards.